All right, guys, it's K-Jam, and I'm back with another Countdown to Christmas movie re review. So last night at 8 p.m., Haul Out the Holly, starring Lacey Chabert, the new Countdown to Christmas queen since CCB is gone, and Wes Brown premiered. Now, I told you I had taken a little sneak peek at the comments on Facebook, Twitter, and it, there was no in between. People either really loved this movie or really hated it. It was a lot of slapstick comedy, but to me, it wasn't funny. It wasn't entertaining. I started watching it about 12 o'clock this afternoon on the Sunday. I actually wanted to stop watching it. I wanted to, I wanted to go open up a bottle of wine. I'm not even a drinker. Like, it was just a mess. Like, I'm actually disappointed because I'm rating this as the worst movie for this countdown to Christmas, Miracles of Christmas season. I'm actually giving this movie a one out of 10. And in a series of TikToks, I'm gonna try to explain why. So, you know, Lacey goes through a breakup and then she goes to her hometown of Evergreen to spend Christmas with her parents. Her parents lie to her and they want her to come home so that they can fly to Florida for the holidays and she can follow the HOA, the Homeowner Association rules uh, for Christmas. So uh, Lacey plays Emily. Emily gets home, realizes her parents lied to her. This is just a weird fucking script. I'm just gonna say that. So her parents lied to her same day she arrives and she's trying to get over her breakup. They say they're leaving for Florida. So she's left here to follow all these rules. Now, Jared played by Wes Brown. He's now the new HOA president. And he's, um, you know, hitting Emily with all these violations in this, in this very, very white ass town. Now I'm gonna tell you this right now. As the movie goes on, Emily starts to keep up with the HOA rules. She gets in the spirit of the holidays. Towards the end, her parents come back. And even though they found a condo in Florida, they she inherits their home. There's so many things that are so problematic about this movie. But I actually want to get into some of the Facebook and Twitter comments so I can really point it out for you guys. But... I will say that whoever who wrote this script could have done a quick 30 second Google and realized that there's a lot of problematic things with homeowners associations. Like for example, there are some across this country that um, you know, purposely are set up to keep people of color and black people out of certain all white neighborhoods. Yes, you can do a quick Google and see that there have even been lawsuits against these homeowner associations. I, this just, this was just a mess. 